Here I'm going to show you how to set up your Google Classroom settings for following the best practices for using Google Classroom. I'm going up to this cog wheel and then it opens up my class settings. It even says class settings. Over here, you can choose who can comment to your classroom stream. And you can choose if students can post and comment, which means they could put things there, or if only teachers can post things there, or if students can comment. So if only teachers can post and comment, students can comment or students can post on comment. For this example, I'm saying that students can comment, but you can control how you want your classroom to act. Over here, classwork on the stream. Some people, the default is condensed notification, but you can choose to have to show all the attachments and details, which some of our younger scholars, we are showing it there as well as in the classwork just in case that they're having problems navigating over to that second tab. You can hide the notifications, which we do not want to do because we want to at least show that our objectives, our daily objectives. So I'm going to show attachments and details, but you could do a condensed notifications as well. One of those options would be fine. Over here, I have this turned off and this is the default that only teachers can see deleted items, which I think is a best practice. Guardian summaries, you need to make sure that's turned on. That is a best practice to enable parents to be able to get weekly notifications about their students' work in their Google Classroom. If you are using Google Meet, you would generate the link here. You can always reset this link and you'll see how this changes. So I can reset that link. I can also turn this link on and off. So this link is going to be accessible in my Google stream. As soon as they click there, they will join my meeting. If I'm not meeting right now, I'm going to turn it off and remember to click save. So this would turn my meeting off so that students aren't meeting without me. I can turn it back on, again, clicking save so that they would see that visibility. Over here on the grading, this is how my grade is calculated. I'll show you the options. Best practice is one of these because we are going to show the grading tab. Once we have that, we're going to click Save. And I'll show you where that Google Meet link is, where if you are using Google Meet, if you're not, you wouldn't generate that Meet link. If you do have it highlighted and you want to turn the visibility off, you can you will still see it, but it will have a line through it that it's off. The students would not see it. They won't see it at all if it's turned off. So just make sure that before you start your meeting, you turn it back on. These are best practices for your settings.